Hey, Dixon back to talk to my people one more time. I've been talking to you guys via video, white people that is, for, I don't know, over two years now. I started April 2015, and I'm still talking to y'all, and you're still not listening. I've had a few emails where people said that it made a difference, so I don't know. I know that a few of my videos went viral, and it reached a lot of people, so I hope that something can be learned. I don't know if white people are learning or not. I don't know. I don't see any change in America. I just see, like the elders used to say, the more things change, the more things stay the same. Um, I'm making this video because um, I'm thinking about the injustice that was done to uh, Philando Castile and his family and his girlfriend. and I'm thinking, how can... Um, an officer who walked up to an innocent black guy and shot him four times in the chest simply because he reached for his wallet can be justified as not manslaughter, as not murder. How can that happen? Well, it happens because the truth and the reality is the Justice Department is and always has been white supremacist. And the police can and do murder daily with complete and utter immunity. And they know that, which is why they do it. The laws are there to protect them. But white America, they see these injustices toward people of color, and they continue to do what they've always done since we uh, started the indigenous holocaust, since we started the uh, black holocaust with the enslavement, the Jim Crow, the redlining, the mass incarceration, all the fucking shit we've done to people of color. They always do the same thing. It's what a white America does best. Turn the other cheek, sweep it under the fucking carpet, pretend it's not there. Turn a blind eye. Deny it. Defend white, white people. Deny our system and culture of white supremacy. Deny our white privilege. Deny the injustice. Deny the uh, disenfranchising that happens to people of color. Deny it all. But the fact remains, because of our society, when that cop walked up to Philando, and you can hear the fear in his voice, when that cop walked up to Philando Castile, an innocent black guy minding his own damn business, simply trying to show the guy his ID, complying, that cop was so fucking scared. Now, why was he scared? The same reason all white people are taught to fear people of color. We're taught stereotypes. We've always been taught to stereotypes. So when that cop walked up to Philando, he saw that black guy, that innocent black guy, is a criminal. Nothing more than that. Just an angry black man, criminal. And that was it. And he knew in his heart that Philando was a criminal. He knew in his heart, in his sick, twisted mind, that Philando was going to kill him. So he shot before he had any proof. He just shot him dead in cold blood. Why? Because he had bought into the lie of white supremacy. This is the truth as to why Philando is dead. This officer had bought into the lie of white supremacy as our whole entire nation has, as all police officers have, most of them. Certainly their culture is white supremacist, it always has been. So what you have now is lynchings happening daily in America and our justice system and the laws in our justice system there to support it. And now we have this fucking Jeff Sessions guy, the, the, the department of head of the Department of Justice, who is a known white supremacist, who's an old school confederate loving, old school confederate loving, redneck, country ass, backward ass, racist white supremacist motherfucker, who is here and in place that Donald Trump put him in place for one reason, to continue mass incarceration, to continue the disenfranchisement of black people, to continue the brutalization, to continue the lynching, and to continue the harassment the marginalization of people of color. That is why Jeff Sessions is in place. That is why 
the white supremacist president, but an old school white supremacist motherfucker, Confederate loving motherfucker like Jeff Sessions in control of our Justice Department. So here we are. And white people see this. They see it in videos now. We have the technology with smartphones showing the injustice. White people remain silent. They do as their white supremacist training taught them very, very well. Turn a blind eye. Deny it. Support white supremacy. That's what white people do best. They do it by silence. They do it by denial. And they do it by not doing a goddamn fucking thing. So I, I don't know what else to say to white people. I, I've said all I can say. But I can tell you this, white America. People of color are tired of your bullshit. And if you don't change your ways, if you can't find a moral compass racially and start to give a fuck about the unjust system of white supremacy in this nation that is operating culturally and systemically, if you can't find in your heart to give a fuck about that and to stand up and to do what's simply decent, there will be a reckoning. What goes around comes around. I don't know what else to say. 